Our very own Mr. Odiambo, as you know, has done a great thing. He has broken the Guinness World Book of Records for dribbling basketballs. Let's give him a round of applause. We are at RE Simt Elementary School today, and um, it's an assembly to honor the world's greatest basketball dribbler for setting the world record for dribbling six basketballs and donating 24 Spalding Never Flood basketball to Simpson School. We had a connection with Mr. Odiambo and decided that with his help, we would be able to show that our ball does stay up 10 times longer than all the other balls in the industry. Mr. Odiambo not only has a passion for setting a world record in dribbling basketballs, but he has a passion for being a great teacher. And that's what we really appreciate about him in the Al Hamber School District. When I started dribbling basketball, I decided I'm going to be the world greatest ball player, and I don't care how long it took me, I will stay with it. And four years later, I broke the world record, and so far I have broken 16 world records altogether. Okay? When I was brought up, I was told that if you ever want to achieve something, you have to set some goals. And if you set some goals, those goals are guidelines that will help you attain what you're, you're supposed to do. And so when I was trying to set the world record, I decided I'm going to set some goals to become the world's greatest ball handler. And then so every day, I worked toward that goal. And over time, I was able to achieve it through hard work, a lot of patience and perseverance. So today, I hope that you have the opportunity to uh, go up and shake Mr. Odiambo's hand and tell him thank you for all he does to model what good character is for students. 26 hours and 40 minutes later, I have the world record, and I can tell you, good luck in breaking that record. <laughs> <laughs>